Did you know that 80% of people give up their health and fitness resolutions after February? I mean, staying consistent is hard, but what if an AI tool could make it much easier? Well, in this video, I'll show you how you can optimize your health and fitness journey with existing AI tools and also build your own using Hostinger Horizons. Okay, so most people approach health and fitness resolutions like they're training to become an Avenger. They go too hard, too fast, and eventually fall back into old habits. And the key here is consistency. And the solution to that is not more motivation, but a better system. But here's a disclaimer though. Make sure you're actually focusing on being healthy and consider checking in with an actual health and fitness professional because you know, even the best AI tools ever need a human eye. So what does a better system actually look like? I mean, it starts with realistic goals and better planning. And AI can actually help you a lot with that. I mean, here's a really great example prompt to use in ChatGPT. I'm 30, work from home, try to cook most meals, and can only work out on my hour-long lunch break, for example. Now, help me set a realistic goal to improve my fitness and health goals. And you will get really great actionable goals, like improving sleep, eating balanced meals, hitting a desired weight, and working out three times a week, which AI can help you optimize further and turn it into an actual plan. You can also try this prompt, for example. Create a health and fitness plan focused on losing fat and gaining muscle. Then you're gonna need to use AI for even more details. For example, you can calculate your daily calorie intake with AI. But here's a little bit of a smarter approach. Instead of just asking for a number, ask AI to create a system for you. Try using a prompt something like this. I'm not gonna read it out this time. You can see it on the screen so you can copy it and adjust it according to your needs. And I mean, can you see the difference? You're not just getting a static number, you're getting adaptive guidance that matches how your body actually works throughout the week. And once you have that number, you can ask the same chatbot to plan weekly meals to achieve that calorie deficit. You can, for example, ask it to include foods you enjoy, like let's say avocados or quinoa or something, or you can ask it to create a grocery list for you. You can also ask it to create a personalized workout routine for you. Based on that same information, your prompt could look something like this. And here you have to be as clear as you can. Prompting is the basis of any meaningful AI system. So just for you, I've linked our prompt engineering tutorial down below in the description. And if you want to keep up with the latest AI updates and trends, subscribe to our channel. Okay, but now if you want something more structured than just ChatGPT, there are specialized AI workout apps that are worth checking out. For example, Fitbot actually learns from your workout history. Let's say if you log that deadlifts make your lower back sore, it'll automatically reduce the load next time, or it could swap an alternative exercise. And that kind of adaptive intelligence is what makes AI valuable here. The next one is Freeletics. Now, this one generates body weight routines that progress based on your feedback. You can rate a workout as too easy, for example, and it intensifies the next session. Or if you rate it too hard, it scales back. And that is way smarter than following a really static 12-week program that doesn't know you're having a rough week or if it's too easy for you. But all that being said, fitness and nutrition apps can be generic. They're built with very standardized formulas that work the same for absolutely everyone that uses them. They can't account for your medications, your injury history, your weird work schedule, or just how you prefer to see your data. And they can sometimes be very inaccurate, overloaded with some very unnecessary metrics and come with hidden subscriptions or privacy concerns as well. And in fact, 71% of users abandon their apps in the third month, with only 40% using them beyond the first 24 hours. And often it's not about motivation, it's that the app doesn't fit how they actually live. So I mean, if using an already existing app isn't for you, here is another option. You can build your own and have all the metrics you like to track in one place. And you can build this actually very easily using Hosting Your Horizons, which is our no-code app builder. And you will find the link for it in the description down below, as well as our coupon code HZN10 to get started. 
And with Horizons, you can write prompts describing what you want and it generates a whole working web app for you. For example, you can write something like create a fitness dashboard to log workouts, track calories, and save meal plans. And it will generate a first version of your app. You can also browse remixable templates created by other people using Horizons. And from there, you can refine the templates through prompts. You can adjust the design, like say something like make this more modern, change the background to dark blue, use a cleaner font, like basically any prompt. And you can also upload screenshots of other web app designs you like as a visual reference for style and layout, which is actually really, really useful. Also, you can add features based on what you actually want to track. For example, add a workout tracker that counts sessions per week, logs the discipline, for example, running, Pilates, yoga, and duration of all of those. And for health metrics, you can try a prompt like this. Like for example, say at a table that counts the calories per meal, a feature to save meal plans, and a section with meal suggestions. And a really cool thing is that you can actually also make manual edits, like updating the name, logo, or text in the headers. And I've actually linked our article in the description and a four-part mini-series where I show you a fitness app that I created myself, and it was a whole journey, but I think it was super useful. Now, once you're done and have tested it, you'll have a web app that fits your actual routine. So, I mean, utilizing AI for your health and fitness resolutions can truly help you create a system to build habits, stay motivated, and see those results. And if this video was helpful to you, we've got way more videos on New Year's resolutions coming out, and also we're gonna talk about how AI can actually help you with those resolutions. So, make sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss those. And also guys, I would really love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think about all of this. Like, would you build your own fitness tracker or do you already use existing apps? I'm really curious about this, so just let me know. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys as always in the next one.